morning. It's Paula Swimmer Fitness. So I have here my wetsuit. Five, four. I'm ready to go surfing. But first I'm doing this eight pound ball stretch exercise for us today. So sometimes when you wake up in the morning, you think, no, I don't think so, it's too early. We need to change that. We need to go to bed thinking it's not going to be too early in the morning to take care of yourself. Because the more you take care of yourself, the more you take care of others. Okay, take your eight pound ball, lift up the rib cage as usual, and now one vertebrae at a time, you're going to go down to the floor, one vertebrae at a time. Get your feet flat on the floor. Have your ball in front, take your arms and take them to the side with a contraction of the whole arm. You're going to come down to this level only. You're not going all the way down here. You're going to stay here. So again, lift up your rib cage, one vertebra at a time, you're coming down. You're going to take the ball, squeeze the arms into the body, lift it high, come back down. Lift it and down for 10. Exhale on your way up, nine, eight. Hold that ab tight, seven. Keep a smile on your face, six, five. You don't think it makes sense, but it does. <laughs> Four more, three, two more, and one. As you're setting up, you're, you're tilted a little bit on the way back so that you're putting pressure on your quadriceps into the hip flexors, into the lower ab. Then you're going to take this ball above your head and you're going to lower it. Excuse me one second. Okay, I must have touched the video the wrong way and turned it off. So going back to what we were saying, I'm gonna have to do a dual video today. You're lifting this above your head. You set the ball behind you with your elbows as close to your ears as you can get it. Rise it up, fall. Raise, fall. Lift, drop. Put your feet flat on the ground. Put a smile on your face. Lift that rib back up. You're not solidly placing your feet into the ground because they're out a little bit in front of you. Push and press. Keep going and press. Four, four, put a smile on your face and three, two more and one. One vertebra at a time all the way down. Push it up. There's one. Smile, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Okay, take that eight pound ball, put it between your knees. You're going to drop your body down to the ground. Elevate the toe, down. Lift and lower. Hold that ab into the ground. Push your palms into the ground. Push your arms into the ground. For a 10, and nine, and eight. There's seven, and six, for five. Hold this down. Four more. Put a smile on your face. Three, two more, and one. Come on back up. I have my wetsuit ready. I'm on my way out the door now to uh, surf with my friends. So you are to have a good day today. So look in the mirror when you go away. Look into your mirror and say, this is going to be the best day that I've ever had. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Paula Swim and Fitness. Good morning. It's Paula Swim and Fitness. 
So I want to talk to you about what your feelings are and what your thoughts are. Your thoughts will create your feelings. If you're going to bed at night thinking, oh my gosh, I'm all alone. I should have gone dancing. I didn't go to the concert. Reevaluate that. There's a reason you didn't go. Was the reason that you didn't go because you needed rest? Was the reason that you didn't go because there was an unexpected phone call that came through that you would not have gotten had you gone to those things? Sometimes we put pressure on ourselves to do things that are not ours to do. We look at other people walking along to that concert or maybe other people getting ready to go dancing or somebody that dances better than us or somebody that has clothes that you like better than the clothes that you have. None of these things matter. The only thing that matters is that you're doing the true you. Are you doing what is the best for you? Is the best for you on a sunny day to go out and, and have fun in the sun because you love the sun? Maybe not. Maybe the sunny day is to just enjoy in your mind and to rest. Are you resting when you shouldn't be resting and you need to go out and get some vitamin D in that sun? then that's what you need to do. But evaluate it on what your plan is for the day, on what your need is for the day, not on what somebody else is doing, what you shoulda, coulda, woulda. It doesn't work. There's no real room here. You in to, be in tune with your body. Your body will tell you everything. The answers are all inside. Not so much inside, inside. Use that intuition, use that small voice and follow it. You will find miracles that you could not have found any other way. On to the bike. Follow me over. Bye-bye.